Hi everybody, it's Kristen, and welcome to my October favorites. First of all, if you are new to my channel, I want to say thank you so much for being here. And if you have been with me since the beginning, you know how much I love you. So I have a few things for you to share, or a few things to share with you this month. I don't have I always say I don't have a ton of things and then I talk forever, so, you know, we'll try to keep it short and sweet. Um, I do want to say that a couple of things I'm going to show you, I have, I recorded a haul a couple of weeks ago and just haven't had the opportunity to up upload it, so I will be uploading that probably on Sunday, um, and then Topic Tuesday is going to be the Game Changer hair trick, um, which really isn't all that great, I promise you, but everybody wants to see it, so I'm going to do it. And then um, the video fo actually following that is going to be another haul because it has been so long since I have the things that I are showing in the haul that I have on, you know what I'm saying? There's a long time in between the recording of and the getting up of the next one because that one I recorded after I had had some of the things for a while too. So I don't normally post a video, then a haul, a haul, then another video, and then a haul. So just so you know. Okay. Um... First things first, let's do hair stuff. Two hair things that I've been really liking, and I, I showed this a while back and I've been using it ever since. This is the Bumble and Bumble Prep. I don't know if it's called BB Prep or just Prep, but you know, we'll go with Prep. And this I put on my hair before I do anything else. After I take it out of the towel, I spray it out of my little twisty turby thing, um, which is also a favorite. I don't have that here. But I started using the twisty turvy thing about maybe three weeks ago, and I really do like that. I, I, I put my hair up in that for, um, like, while I'm doing my makeup and get my coffee and all that kind of stuff. And then at the end, I do my hair after I do my makeup generally, unless I'm doing a video <laughs> tutorial. Um, I really have enjoyed, um, it, it pulls a lot of the water out of your hair. I don't have to use the hair dryer for as long, so that really is a nice product. So that can be my first favorite. And then the prep. So I take it out of the Twisty Turby, I spray this all over it, um, and then I put the other products into it. And this somehow just helps your other products work better. And that's exactly, when I showed this, I was like, I can't remember why I needed this back when I hauled it. And Sandy had said, you need that because it'll help all your products, all your other products work better. And it, it really does. So I very much have enjoyed that. The other hair thing, and this is something that I went back to because I had kind of gone through, I have one other like hairspray that I got in a box or something that I'm trying to work my way through. But I went back to this in the meantime, and that's the Trisme, um, vo not volume two, tray two spray. I love this product. This is a great product. I know you guys have seen it a million times, but I'm really... It was like, I just mentioned this in a comment to somebody else. It's like coming home when you come back to a product that you really enjoy. Excuse me. Okay, I'm trying not to sneeze. A um, couple of eyeshadows. And this, I really have enjoyed wearing these. I, I did, I know, the, the new tube this month. I did a couple other things. But kind of on the off days when I wasn't doing videos and stuff, I really have enjoyed playing around. And I know these all very look, look very similar. But the Hard Candy Shadows. These really are great shadows. I just have them all out here for you. But So this one is in Rush Hour. They're just really pretty, warm, perfect fall colors. And they work so well. So there's a couple swatches of those. I really enjoy all of them. I think this one is probably my, my favorite. Um, and then Peace is my second favorite. I The other one that I have here is High Maintenance. And you can just see that Peace is just a little bit warmer. And this is High Maintenance. My nails are looking a little rough. I probably shouldn't have recorded this this morning. <laughs> but I wanted to get it up for you guys. I mean, what the heck? It's already November 2nd. Okay. Um, face stuff. I really have no order, but... Uh, my skin has gone crazy dry again in the Wisconsin. Cold, setting in, things get really dry. And so when that happens, I tend to, at night, go back to um, the CeraVe moisturizing cream. And this is ginormous. Um, I really enjoy this. This is kind of what it looks like. It's pretty thick. If you don't have dry skin, you don't want to use this. Um, in my opinion. And I think you can, you can use this all over your body too. It's not obviously because of the size it comes in. It's not necessarily meant for your face. But I think it's about $15. And actually my dermatologist recommended this. Um, 
not last winter, but the winter before when I had really, really, really dry skin and it works. So whenever my skin starts to get crazy, I go right back to this and I have enjoyed that. Um, and I have a full bottle of this to show you, but I want to talk about anywhere. Anyway, I have discovered that I love the Estee Lauder Double Wear. My friend Tina had sent me a sample of it. Um, she lives in Ireland. And um, there was no, I could not find the card that had the color on it, but the colors I guess there are different than they are here anyway. So I went in and got color matches the other day and, and did, did purchase this. Um, I very, this is an amazing foundation. It doesn't dry out my skin, yet it stays all day. I know everybody talks about this, so I won't, I won't talk too much about it, but I did just want to say I've really been enjoying that. Um, I do kind of have a bunch that I'm trying to use up, but you know. So this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear, and it is, my color is Fresco. So, excited about that. Okay, so I have a couple of blushes that I've really been enjoying, and one of these you haven't even seen in the haul yet because that's the one that's going up like Sunday. And this is from that the Tarte, I think it's called the Carried Away Kit. So it's a little smaller one, and it's an adventurous, and this is actually what I'm wearing today. Um, I really like this blush. It's really, really pretty. Um, I love these 12-hour blushes anyway because, they no joke, they last all day long. And this one... I heard somebody say that they felt like it was similar to Exposed, and I don't think that it is. It's, it's much pinkier, or peachier, or I don't know. It's different. I just rubbed it the wrong finger. So that's what it looks like. It's really pretty on the skin. I really enjoy it. And then also, um, I got this from the Balm's last, most recent one. I think it was the only blush I didn't have. So I wanted to pick it up, and that is the blush in Cabana Boy. This is so pretty, especially for fall. That's what it looks like. Let's see. I need a fresh finger. I haven't swatched. All right there. Isn't that pretty? I know. I'm always talking to you like you can answer me. So those are the face products. And then the, the last thing that I have really is, and it, of course there's a story explanation, is the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. Now, um, for those of you that have been with me before, you know that I have eyelid issues. For the, <laughs> those of you that haven't, I have eyelid, eyelid issues. They're, my eyelids tend to get a little bit um, irritated by a lot of eyeshadow primers. So for the longest time, all I've ever used was painterly. Well, I, I purchased this a while back, mm, I know it looked like a really long time back, and I just started using it one day um, just because it was going to be a really long day and I just really wanted to make sure, I mean, Painterly does a great job for my eyelids, but I just, you know, you want to try something different. Well, I really like this and it has not irritated my eyelids. I think that, you know, the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the purple bottle, it seems to have a little bit of a sheen to it when you put it on. I think there's just something in there that doesn't work with my skin, and this one does. So I've really, really enjoyed using this, and I haven't, since I started using this, I haven't gone back to my Painterly Paint Pot. I'm sure that I will at some point, especially because I'll want to use it up. But I have enjoyed um, using this, and it really does... I mean, my eyeshadow looks the exact same at the end of the day as it does when I start out in the morning, and I really, I really like that. Okay, so for my one fail of the month, well, there's two of them, so I guess it's two fails, but um, it is the Clean Scalp and Hair Therapy, and I, the one that I purchased was the Damage and Color Repair um, line, product, whatever. Here's the other one, I had it upside down. So this is the shampoo and this is the conditioner. I have never had a shampoo weigh my hair down and make it look as greasy, nasty as these have. I, I'm not, I won't even finish these. And that's not, that's unheard of for me. I normally f will work my way. You guys saw I worked my way through that Elnet hairspray that I couldn't deal with. Um, I, I'm done. These are going in the garbage. Um, I, I won't even put these in my guest bathroom. <laughs> I, they're horrible. They're absolutely horrible. And... Don't think I'm being wasteful. I just don't want anybody else to have to deal with what this did to my hair. Maybe there are people that enjoy this product, and or maybe there's a, you know, a type that's different, you know, versus the damaging color repair. I don't know, but not good. <laughs> kid, kid, do it. Not good. 
So I just wanted to share that feel with you guys. So I hope that you guys all had a really great week and I'm looking forward to have a great November. Um, I, I do want to say that um, I... I my heart just goes out to you guys out in the east that have dealt with all this. I was so thankful to hear from, you know, friends that I know that I have out there that they were okay um, or to see tweets from them. I tried not to, you know, tweet, call, text, you know, all of my friends knowing that they were had other people doing the same thing. So I tried not to bombard them. But I had all of them in my thoughts and prayers. And so any of you that are out there, um, please know that you are also in my thoughts and prayers. So um, I hope that everybody's starting to recover and your power is getting back on and that kind of thing. I just can't even imagine. So my heart goes out too. Um, all right. So I hope that you guys have a great November. Lots of stuff to come. It is Nova, no by November. Um, I actually canceled the few kits that were supposed to be coming to me from QVC. Um, we'll be talking about what I'm going to do in 2013, probably in December. And... Yeah, I'll have a little announcement about December too, but I'll I'll wait for a I'll wait for another video for that. So, um, okay. I hope that you guys are having a great one, and I will talk to you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.